Hello there. And welcome to the first race of the Gremlin course. Or Whiplash. So, first off, we have to go over what our competitors are named, because that was something that I did not cover in the intro video. And there's our there's our list of names. Those that recognize them will probably be able to pick out which fandom I took them from. Beyond that, we also have to you know, pick our car. Now, when I first played the game, I used to go with the Reese wagons, but I actually find that the I said I find that the Global Celerity Mark Global II Global Celerity Mark II is a fast, heavy, durable car, that and it is actually the one I'm I find that I am best with. It's still one of the two better cars in the game overall. So. As I said in the the standard practice for these videos is going to be a time a five lap time travel trial on the track in question. Uh, I'm just making sure that's not the game type. Yeah, it's going to be a five lap time trial on the track, and that's going to be in the video, followed by the actual race itself. Snake so, this is actually my second. Grand Royale, a slick, smooth circuit. This is actually my second time recording this because first time I didn't actually check where my audio was routed, so I ended up with I ended up with unusable audio. But that allows me to get things done right this time. In any case, here's the uh, track description. The Grand Royale, a slick, smooth circuit. Its gentle curves and bank corners combine to create a high-speed challenge. Just what we've come to expect from the French contingency. All right. So on that note, let's get the time trial started. So, controls are fairly simple, you've got, if you did watch the intro video, the episode two, zero video, you've got your gas, your brake, your left turns, your right turns, and you've got up shift and down shift. And those are your controls. Now, for the time trials, I'm going to attempt to set a personal or best fast lap. And for the most part, I should be able to do that without much difficulty. There's only a few courses that might give me trouble with that. But it, the other thing I want to do is kind of discuss the ongoing Let's Play. And also the course itself. Now this course, if you look at the main map there, it seems like there's two pit zones. The little sections of track marked in yellow. But there's actually only that one pit hit zone. That the one big pit in area is the only pit zone on this track. Now one of the things I'm I'm using this time trial as the warm up for the actual race because it's it's always going to be five laps. The the time trial, regardless of how long or how short the, the track is. And I can tell you with certainty, there is at least, there are a couple really short tracks in, in the game. But anyways, this is the pit. And you want to slow down, come to a stop on the right side. And then, and, and then accelerate as if you're launching off the starting line. And the lap record is made! 
So I think I can get a time under one minute on this course, but it's gonna take me not running into any walls. And you might be noticing I am hitting some walls. So I guess I can use this warm up as a moment to show off some of the other camera angles and their effect on the game performance. Let's see, let me get to reasonable straight away. So you've got this third person camera which I don't really, really like. You've got the rear view camera and you might have noticed that the uh, frame rate has slightly tanked. You need both this one and the team view cause a little bit of a uh, lag. Well, not really lag, more like uh, frame skipping. And there's this one, which I also don't like. The main problem that I have with the two external views has happens to be with what happens when you go upside down, and that is the thing that will happen. See, the left and right turn are all relative to your car. So if your car is upside down, if you're going on an upside down piece of track, Left turn is a uh, left turn will make you appear to go to the right if you're in a third person view. Yeah, this is non. This is a. a base. And the lap yep, is this is my sub one minute. But I could never get used to flipping my controls, flipping my steering around like that for the for the inversions so I just do the next best thing and stick to her this first person view now I'm going to take a pit on this lap just to show you what the technique is but the actual quick pick technique is basically as follows Approach the pit, downshift into neutral, pit work. and use the neutral gear to uh, keep your car running while they work on your pit. Now, ideally you would, you wouldn't actually fully stop, but if you do, as long as you, you know, kick the engine back up, you're a winner! as long as you Race kick the engine over. back up before the uh, before the, the pit work finishes, yes, you shouldn't lose any time on a full repair. Now, let's get started on the championship, shall we? This is going to be a full grid of 16 cars, damage level high, and difficulty at maximum. Technically. But, so, the main effect that difficulty has, like I probably mentioned in the episode 0 video, is the number of laps of the race. For instance, if I were to drop the difficulty down to warm up, it'd be only the laps go down to 2. So, with that, I'm just going to confirm that, yes, my teammate is Familia. Still, so with that, we're going to get this started. Drivers ready! Engines ready! Go! Again, the best way to pick up speed at start is to upshift as fast as you can. Now I did say that and I have failed recording for this uh, race. I did keep the replay files. So I will be showing off that race in the replay editor. 
there's actually a couple things that I just found worthy of highlighting, apart from the usual list of things that I want to highlight in each one. Um, there, in that first race, there were actually two two eliminations as outright. Two people got got wrecked three times. I want to say they were Oku and Marisa. Anyway, as you can see right now, Romelius and was tailgating you. And you can see. Yeah! Ow, ow. Ow. Right. Let's get back facing forward. I don't know what happened there. And that's actually part of the reason why I prefer and having to replace. But there's Shiki. Yeah, I just passed. So, that was someone getting a. Uh, yeah, that was a fatality, so. And we got to check replay to see who caused that. But Sereno right hey, here. <laughs> Sereno just got fatality by me. <laughs> now on on this difficulty and with the damage scale set up to high, the fatalities are going to happen. There's no real avoiding that. I mean, you can minimize your chances of it at least, but it, the odds of a full race going without Keep someone going. wrecking pretty much non-existent. Again, this is a 10 lap race and I'm currently in 10th position, lap 3. And I was about to get things backwards. So, if you look up at the top, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and discuss what those four times you're seeing up there are. And as Romelia decides to head for the pits. We'll be passing Romelia. <laughs> Yeah, wow, we passed a few people up in the pits. This is why you don't want to damage yourself if possible. But the lap time is as the lap time, or keep going. I believe if you don't modify your strings, that just reads time. That lap time is basically the current lap time. On time trial, the first lap time starts the moment you cross the the uh, starting line. But otherwise, it's basically the lap, the time spent on the current lap. Underneath that is your personal best lap, and then there's the two, you know, two, two times below that. You've got ahead, which is the amount, which is the amount of time. Mobile eight to car seven. I got a few guys out here who need a lesson. I'm taking them out. Yeah, you go do that, familiar. But anyways, the ahead time is the time that it would take for you to reach the uh, car ahead. It's your best lap yet. Keep going. If they were stationary, and assuming that you kept after your speed consistent. Likewise, the time the time behind is for the car behind you. If you're in last, or if you're in first, one of those will just read a straight line of dashes. Uh oh, we got someone heading backwards. Whoa, that's got to hurt! So yeah, that's the thing that can happen. So... This is where... Pit work! And that's how a proper pit looks. That's what a proper quick pit looks like. Mobile 8 to car 7. I got a couple of guys on my tail. I'm blocking them out. 
so we're about halfway through this course, through this uh, race. And I've managed to at least way. climb into sixth place. Hey, considering I started in dead last, that's actually pretty good. Still gonna try to aim for the top three. Hopefully I can replicate my... That was Oku turning around, wasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna aim for the top three. Hopefully I can get the first place like I did on my on the failed recording. But if I don't, well, tough. I'm pretty sure. Yep, Oku just got outright eliminated, so Oku has is no longer in the race. I see that's both Marisa and Remy ahead. And Amelia's going for the pits. Four laps remaining. So the thing with damage, if you're in the green, you're generally not gonna lose any speed. However, once you get uh, got that fourth chunk and start getting start approaching the yellow zone on the damage meter, your top speed will start have to decrease. And it's not, it's not a major decrease at yellow, but if you, if you actually push it and you end up go, uh, going into the red on damage, your top speed will probably get down to half, half its normal, half its usual value, if not worse. And it looks like there's some in fighting. I'll just not move Relax past Raymu. Go Robo H to car seven. I got a few guys out here who need a lesson. I'm taking them out. Yeah, Amelia has been rather aggressive today. Yeah, give him some. And I think Suwaka's about to get correct. Yep. So I've got basically two laps to uh, try and get any more positions. Yomu's pitting. Yeah, give him some. I'm going to deny Yomu the chance. Hey, you got one. So uh, yeah, let's see. Two laps remaining. I did sacrifice one position for that. Go Robo Eight to Car Seven. I got a couple of guys on my tail. I'm blocking them out. In the top three, that's decent, especially considering I started in last. And I don't think I'm gonna catch up, and I don't think I'm gonna catch up the first this time around. Final lap, step on it! So yeah, this actually was a worse uh, race than my and failed recording. Uh, I am honorable. I will take it. Wait, I got a second, and I'm catching up on. Okay, if Ran if Ran pits, if Ron pits, then I might be able to steal first. Ron spinning. Wow. 
yeah, pro tip, if you don't have a lead, if you don't have a significant lead and it's on the last lap, try not to pit. Congratulations, I was not expecting to pull that first as that wins. So yeah, um... Yeah, fast lap is... It was done by Yukri in the... In the Reese wagon. 58 seconds. But, that was actually not as a... Uh, well, there's still a lot of uh, wrecks, but... That wasn't quite as... Uh, destruction heavy as the... Failed recording. Alright, so now that the hat race is done, there are now two things I need to do. First, I need to drop into replay. And save the replay. Yeah, you can see what I've named the uh, replay from that uh, failed recording. And you can also see what my mm, naming scheme is. The other thing I need to do is save the game. And with that, next time will be the 18 lap race that is Snake Pass. <laughs>